Hey y'all, how y'all doing? This is your girl Tashi and I am back with another video. Yes, I'm back with another video. Um, before I start um this video here, this is, I'm gonna be reacting to the 10 minutes of British humor. Um, some of y'all know I've been reacting to a lot of British TV shows like um The Inbetweeners. I've did um I'm still re reacting to those videos. Um, what else? Um uh, Inbetweeners, um Fools and Horses, the fool, oh, Fools and Horses, I'm sorry, I had to think, oh my god, the Fools and Horses, um, Father Ted, and which one I'm missing, Black Adder, those TV shows I've been reacting to, um, you know, like the full TV show on my channel, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue like posting, post them on my channel, but I definitely going to have them on my Patreon, so if you want to watch any of those shows, they will be on my Patreon, the reason, the reason why is because it takes so much time to edit long videos and especially when i'm trying to constantly like upload them every single day it is not easy it takes it takes take up so much time and i enjoy watching those show but i rather like up the reason why i rather upload them on the patreon is because i don't have to edit i don't have to do anything i could just let it play and you know and that's it but editing it's not easy. Editing is not fun for me, isn't especially with long videos. Short videos, I don't mind editing videos. But if it's long, like 30 minute long, I don't like to edit those videos. <laughs> I really, really don't. So that's why you haven't seen me uh, upload those videos lately. But I still have videos I have to edit. I have like four videos. Yeah, I have about four videos. But anyway, let's just get straight to this one. Um, I just want to mention that. I'm, I'm probably going to mention it again because some people probably ask. I, I see comments of people asking me, you know, what happened? What happened? What happened to the uh, Black Adder and stuff like that? I'm like, I already talked about this already. But I'm gonna have to, I know I'm going to have to talk about it again. But anyway, this is the 10 minutes of British humor. So uh, I've been on a roll with these British humor TV uh, videos because I love, I love to laugh. Y'all yeah, know that. I love to laugh. But uh, let's get straight to the video. I hope I can get away with this. It's Ooh. a beauty. 1975. <laughs> he said, how's the wife? He said, oh, she's dead. He says, what? He says, dead. Do it again. I murdered her. I'll show you if you want. He said, oh, show me. So are we up to his tenement building through the close? That's the entrance to the tenement. <laughs> sure enough, there's a big mound of earth. There's a bum sticking out of it. He says, is that her? He says, aye. He says, what'd you leave a bum sticking up for? He says, I need somewhere to park my bike. <laughs> <clears throat> the importance He's of blind? living in comedy... What was it? Cannot be overstated. Cannot be overstated. So let's take a look. Oh, sorry, that's still your bit, Chris. Sorry. <laughs> you serious? Yes. Let's take a look is my line. <laughs> I, I think you know a girl is too young for you. If you happen to make the aeroplane noise to get your cock in her mouth. <laughs> Here comes the train into the tunnel. <laughs> they <f> Only <laughs> Jim will say something like that. Oh my God. Why am I acting surprised? <laughs> this guy right here, I tried. Photographed every road. This guy right here, I think his name is Michael. McIntyre is it Michael McIntyre something like that I've been reacting to two of his TV shows and I cannot upload those videos for nothing I need to put them on my patreon because I it keep being blocked no matter what I do it's like his videos are very very hard to upload like I don't know what it is I don't know what it is it's is so hard to upload his video on my channel I try to shorten it I try to brighten the video I try to find it like find ways to edit it you know tweak the sound and all that I don't know it's just not working for me it keep being blocked in the whole funny. world and they guy. put them on Google Earth on the computer and you can go there and you sit in front of the computer and you think I can go anywhere anywhere in the world where shall I go and we all come to the same conclusion my house. Damn. First, you don't land exactly on your house. You're sort of, where is it? There it is. That's our house on Google Earth. Darling, come and look. Leave the kids. They're fine in the bath. Come and look. It's our car on Google Earth. My favorite time of the year. Am I the only one that does that, though? You Google your ad. You put your address in and you Google it just to see that, just to see how, just to see, you could just curious. I do it all the time. Some of y'all know I love to go on Google. So, like, 
if I'm just curious to see a neighborhood, I would just type in the, the address or I would just go and search and just, I don't know. I'd just be curious to see how the, the area looks, but that's me. Is when I just get to go skiing and you haven't got to do your hair and makeup. You haven't got to have all that awkwardness. Just put your helmet on, put your snood on, no makeup, it's great. And actually, I've brought my skiing stuff with Let's me, actually, if I just make see, myself more I'm, comfortable. I'm pretty sure I would recognise um, you in skiing gear. So I've got um, a beard and uh, Viking horns. <laughs> and um, well, I remember this. This is kind of my look. So much more comfortable <laughs> and it's warm. And um, <laughs> you just don't have to have that awkward social, like, uh, is that you, is it not, how's, how's Jimmy? <laughs> that kind of thing. That's a challenging wank. <laughs> And you have a context-free word. If Ricky Gervais shouts Mong in a forest <laughs> over and over again, and there's no Americans there to tell him he's a genius. Unlikely challenge. Is that shade? Is he throwing shades? Because that sounds like a little shady to Blinds. me. <laughs> Your father must have been a thief. And I'm going to catch him if it's the last thing I do. Your father's going to press... <laughs> You sort of think a, a letter is arbitrary. A, a word, okay, it's a thing, you know, whatever, you know, floor. Can't think of any others. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and it's supposedly made up of letters. But it's not made up of letters, is it? It's made up of lines. Some of them are curly, some of them join. I don't mean to cut you off, I'm probably rewind it, but that guy named, his name is John. Oh my God, I have a crush on him. <sighs> I do, I just love his smile. Oh my God. I'm, that's my dog. Oh my God, he could bark. Tree. A, a word, okay, it's a thing, you know, whatever, you know, floor. Can't think of any others. <laughs> and, it, and it's supposedly made up of letters. This is what I have to go through. This is what I have to go through every day is my dog barking. It could be so annoying. And sometimes he, the reason why he's barking too is too, it could be two reasons. Somebody's at my door, but no one is at the door. Or he's barking because the other per the other dog next door is barking. So they communicate with each other, you know, and it's, it's so annoying. So I, I, I got to wait for him to finish because he's going to make a lot of noise. It's a struggle, y'all. This is what I have to go through. I'm not even going to edit this out. This I, I want to show y'all what I have to go through. See? Mike, stop it. A few moments later. All right, y'all. So I'm back. I had to like take care of the situation because he was just barking. Okay, uh, let's continue. <laughs> made up of letters. It's made up of lines. He's some so of them cute. are curly. Some of them join up. Some of them cross each other. It's just lines. I don't accept that. It's just. <laughs> it's all some lines. Is that why that your book? Is that why your books haven't sold? Yeah. <laughs> Knife crime. That's cold. That is so cold. Huge problem. What could be done? Well, Mr. simple Cook. solution. I said, what's Guns. his name? That's his name. <laughs> hey, there's no knife crime in America, is there? <laughs> in America, the people most likely to own guns are poor, uneducated white men, or as I like to call them, the police. <laughs> Fifteen billion bullets are produced every year. Fifteen billion. That's enough to shoot everyone on Earth twice. Or Piers Morgan 15 billion times. <laughs> People think that. That's the thing I'm so against. I've been against guns since I was a kid. And the fact that it's, it's like, it seems like it's never going to go away. People, they're still making it. They're still making bullets. It's, 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 it's crazy. And other countries are starting to feel it too. You know, like, um, I think Sweden had like a, had a little problem before. But, you know, they don't have it that bad but i think something was a shootout in a mall or something i'm gonna see if i could find that article and see if i could put it here but uh yeah i think it was like a shootout and i'm like whoa <laughs> i was shocked it's crazy there's something going on i mean do you ever meet people who are have an unreasonable fascination well i think there is no, no such thing as unreasonable fascination it's such a wonderful concept to be fascinated one of the key inspirations behind this very haircut was a gentleman i met called rail rail runs an extraterrestrial cult he believes that aliens <laughs> don't judge him for that 
<laughs> Other than the worship of extraterrestrials, he's a very down-to-earth man. <laughs> uh, he says that aliens can communicate messages to us through our hair. So I thought, take that to its natural conclusion, sure. try and reach out to them a little bit. Uh -huh. It's not all one-way traffic. Well, that's right. You, right? Yeah, I think you're doing us a favor, perhaps. Mm, I might be. I've not received any signals as yet, yeah. David, <laughs> other than doing. a very clear one from humans of get your hair cut. Yeah, well. <laughs> I did think of adopting for a while a little third world child, because that would tick all three boxes, wouldn't it? You know? You think of it like, one, I wouldn't be adding to the population problem. I'd be alleviating an existing problem. A young kid born through no fault of his own into abject poverty. He would have died without me. I can literally save his life. Him a great upbringing, right? Two, he would be grateful, wouldn't he? He'd want to pay me back, wouldn't he? Particularly if I let him know that all the other kids in the village, they weren't so lucky, they didn't make yeah. it out. I'd tell him that early on, so he really bucked his ideas up. <laughs> right? I'd go, I'd go, Tundi, come here. Yeah, yeah. Go and pop a shirt on, you're not in Africa now, mate. <laughs> That's better. Yeah. Tundi, look. yeah. Water straight out of a tap, and it, yes. No, it's not free, it's Hampstead. Yeah, of course it's safe. Safe. Fresh drinking water. Have as much as you want. Have a bucket full. Start with that. Fresh drinking water. There you go. Go and clean the car. Go on. <laughs> I said. <laughs> oh, hey, you could joke about anything, but not with anyone. I think with you, good people, this evening, I should be fine, right? <laughs> well, let's see, shall we? We'll put that to the test. Having sex is like riding a bike. My uncle taught me when I was a kid. People say the best things in life are free, but those people have clearly never had sex. I like it when the girl puts the condom on for you. But I was asked to leave the pharmacy. My girlfriend doesn't think that her sister is trustworthy, but believe me, that girl can keep a secret. One final piece of advice. And my advice is, never trust the super rich. What's the first thing they do when they get rich? They buy a yacht. I know, right? Never been in a yacht? It's like being in a two-star hotel on fucking roller skates. <laughs> the only reason anyone would want to own a yacht is so that they can abduct children sail them into international waters, fuck them, and dispose of their bodies. And that's what everyone who owns a yacht is doing, okay? Is doing. I don't care who it is, JK Rowling, right? I have to say, for legal reasons, that J.K. Rowling is not fucking and killing children <laughs> in international waters. Oh my god. To this, this got dark. <laughs> Very dark. The best dark. of my knowledge. <laughs> That's what's happening out there. Sea levels aren't rising. <laughs> it's just the weight of dead fucked kids <laughs> the sea isn't even salty <laughs> do you know there are now hotels for the super rich that are so exclusive that when you phone down and ask for an extra pillow that's actually a code word it's actually a code word for a prostitute imagine that you phone down you ask for an extra pillow and a prostitute turns up now you have two prostitutes. <laughs> and only one pillow to smother them with. Oh, God. It's the middle of the night. Can't go out. Oh. Not me. oh, that's another TV show I have not, I haven't been uh, reacting to. Uh, what is it? Uh, Idiot on board, abroad. I have not upload. I have not edit. I have not, oh my God, what's my, okay. Let's, let's go back, let's go back. I have not done a video in a, such a long time you you think you know it all just go out yeah i'll tell you what then let's go back and let's see you go out in the middle of the night in the jungle right there's all you sorts do it. out there the 
He wouldn't do it. Noise that's in the jungle is nothing goes to bed at night. That's why there's a lot of nocturnal stuff. No one can get their eyes shut. Everything's off. <laughs> Snakes going, stuff clip. There was something outside the tent. I'm not joking. It was man size, and it was making a human noise. <laughs> was it a human? No, no. Like I'm talking yeah. like gorilla yeah. type noise. Right. Well, that's terrifying. And you're saying, oh, just out. <laughs> yeah. Therapist. But he could go in the tent if he wanted, couldn't he? No. What is what a thin sheet of nylon keeps him. All right, lads, oh, don't go in there. No, there's, there's, some, don't know, there's a bit it? of cloth. There's a bit of cloth. <laughs> we can't get through that. Wait till he comes out for a piss. He's got an Evian bottle. <laughs> oh. rude. I'm just saying. I poured. I had to <laughs> empty. I had to empty the Evian bottle in the morning. No, in the night because it, it was only a little one. Like so that. you pissed in the tent and then emptied it out. So you went. We out there anyway. Yeah, but it's just me hand going out. Going like that and coming back in again. Surely you'd rather lose your penis than your hand. No one, no, <laughs> nothing wants your penis. You'd be surprised. <laughs> Honestly, there's some weird stuff out there. Do you know these fish in the Amazon that go up your knob? <sighs> now everyone's saying to me, you've seen the Amazon? That's amazing. Well, how come the stuff that lives in it doesn't want to live in it? You'd rather live in your knob <laughs> than live in the, live in the river. So you're telling me that I'm meant to be lucky. That's what I'm saying. Nowhere safe. You can never relax. Carl doesn't even know how funny he is. That's one thing I love about Carl. Carl is so funny. But he doesn't even know that he's funny. That's one thing I love about him. He's just, he's a very, he's just a unique individual. That's one thing I love about him. But I kind of, I, I kind of do miss um, watching some of the videos. I haven't been watching some of them. Because of copyright. I'm sorry. I'm trying to dodge uh copyright videos and that video is copyrighted so it's like i tried to dodge as much as i can but i do miss you know watches some of it but anyway this was fun i enjoyed this so comment below let me know how you feel about this video and i see you lovely people take care bye and peace